welcome to RC Video Reviews. Today I'm going to show you how to calibrate your Toolkit RC M7 charger. When you use any type of device that's responsible for charging or discharging your LiPo batteries, you should make sure they're as calibrated as you can get them. I'm going to show you how to do that today on the M7 and we'll start off by just looking at my input voltage first. In order to get into the calibration menu on the M7, you want to press on the jog dial and then connect your power source. Hey, if you like the work I do here on RC Video Reviews, please consider joining me on Patreon. For about the price of a cup of coffee, you can help me keep making videos just like this one. If you'd like to help out, there's a link in the description and on your screen. When you do that, you'll be brought to the input or power calibration screen. And then if you want, you can also connect your output battery. We'll go ahead and do that now. That'll make it a little easier as we go through the video to not be too choppy. So go ahead and connect my output battery. And now we'll talk about our connections. You want a multimeter that you can trust. And then in my case, I have a couple of alligator clips on my multimeter connected to single pins that I'm plugging into the balance leads. If you've never done this before, you simply take the positive end and plug it into your positive lead and take your negative and plug it into the very last lead on your balance connector. It doesn't matter if it's a three cell or a four cell or a five cell, it doesn't matter. Just take your positive lead and plug it into the first line. That'll normally be the one that's off color. So if you have a balance lead that's got say, three black leads and one red, it's the red that'll be the positive. So I've got my positive plugged in on my red wire, got my negative plugged in on the last wire, and that gives me a reading on my multimeter of 12.25 volts. You can see I've got my main connection plugged into my toolkit M7, and I'm gonna zoom in now because from now on we're gonna be focused on what's on the multimeter and on the screen. My meter is showing 12.25 volts on the battery output, and on my M7 you can see it's showing 12.093 volts. So we need to adjust that, and we want these two to match up. And the way we'll do that is by highlighting the input field. So this is the input voltage into the M7. So we'll highlight that, and that'll bring us down to this calibration value down here. And all you have to do is spin that in the direction that gets you closer to where you want to be. So in my case, I'm looking for 12.25. So I'm just going to roll this dial to the left until I get to 12.25. My meter only has two decimal points of precision, so that's what I'm looking for on the M7. I'm seeing 12.253, that's close enough. Once you have the input voltage set, press the exit button, and the next thing we'll do is check the output. So I'll move my leads over now to the battery that I'm charging, and the way we'll measure that one is the same technique. I'm just gonna take my positive lead and put it in the balance plug on the back side. I'm just gonna, gonna get that guy in there. And then we'll do the same thing with the negative lead. We're just looking for a connection on that last negative pin. And you can see I've got 11.42 on my meter and we're showing 11.47 on the output on the toolkit M7. So we'll just make an adjustment there by scrolling to the output field, pressing on the jog dial, and we'll just scroll down until we see 11.42 on the output side. So it's very close, very close. But if you wanna balance and get them as close as you can, there's no reason not to do the calibration. I realize it's not lab grade stuff here, but why not get it closer? Okay, so 11.42 on the output here, 11.42 on my meter, that's good enough. I'm gonna press the escape button. The next thing we'll do is take a look at the individual cells. I'll leave the positive lead on the first pin and I'm now gonna take the negative lead off and put it on the pin next to it. And I'll be very careful here. You don't wanna create any sparks. If these touch, you're gonna to see some fireworks. We don't want to do that. So just be careful when you do this. 3.809 on the meter and we see 3.79 on the M7. So I'll just press the jog dial. We'll make a minor adjustment to that one. We'll just scroll up just a little bit. There we go. 3.809. Why not? We have three points of precision here, so we may as well use it. I'll just keep going until I see 3.809 on the M7, we'll make a match. Okay, there we go, 3.809 on the meter, 3.809 on the M7. For the next cells, we have to move the, both battery wires. So what I'll be doing is taking this pin out of the first slot and I'll be moving the positive pin into the second slot. 
and then I'll take my ground wire and move it into the third slot. So what we're looking to do here is measure the voltage on the second cell only, not the second and third cell. So we'll set that down now and you can see I've got 3.803 and on my M7 we've got 3.8. So minor adjustment to this one again, not much, just a little bit. So we'll just tune this up to 3.803 and there we go, close. A little bit of fluctuation there, but there we go. That looks pretty close. It's, it is moving around a little bit, so we're just going to have to live with that. That's, that's as close as I can get. I guess if you want to get closer to center, you can always recalibrate with another battery. So anyway, I like that value. I'll hit escape, and now we'll move the pins one more time. I'll take the, the negative pin out, then the positive pin. I'll slide the positive pin over to the third cell and slide that in there, and I'll take my negative pin and put it in the final lead. Again, be very careful not to cross your wires here. And then that's it, 3.807. So I'll hit escape and we'll just make a minor, very minor adjustment on this one to 3.807. Now it's 3.806, a little fluctuation on the meter. So I think that's right in the ballpark. So I'll hit escape on that. And that's it. To do a six cell battery, you just repeat the process for four, five, and six. You keep moving those pins down until you get to the very last set. Okay, once you've got everything calibrated, come down to the save button. Don't hit exit because if you hit exit, it won't save your values. Make sure you highlight save and press that first. And then after you save it, you can go ahead and exit. We can check our work now by looking at the screen and you can see I'm still connected to cell number three and I'm showing a value of 3.806. I still th see 3.806 on my meter. We can take the positive pin and move it to the very first lead, the red wire, and plug that in for the output pack voltage. And we see 11.42 here. We see 11.42 there. Very good. Now we can take these pins off and connect them to our input source and verify our input voltage as well. So I'll just take my positive lead and plug it into the red wire and my negative lead goes into the very last pin and you can see 12.25 on the meter and 12.25 on the input. Well, there you go. Now you know how to calibrate a Toolkit RC M7. By the way, this calibration procedure works for a lot of Toolkit products. You normally get into that calibration menu by pressing the jog dial or the primary enter button when you add power. Once you're in there, you can normally get into the calibration screen and make calibration changes. I do recommend doing this for all of your chargers just to make sure it's correct. You want to make sure if you're going through the effort of balancing your cells that they're actually balanced correctly. I mean, what's the point in doing the work if you haven't done the calibration? All right, that's all I've got on how to calibrate the Toolkit RC M7. If you like this kind of content, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you know new material hits the channel. That's all I've got for today. Take it easy.